Hello everyone. Uh, today I am going to give the final tips to score good marks in mathematics. Uh, only 3-4 days is left. So these tips will be definitely helpful for you. So let us start with the tips before mathematics exams. Complete the entire syllabus from NCRT. As the question paper of the board examination is always based on NCRT, therefore first complete the entire syllabus from the NCRT class 10 mathematics textbook. To understand the concepts of easy and every chapters then maintain a separate book or you can maintain a4 size paper for formula theories and methods in short uh, mathematics subject is all about the formula theories concepts and uh, you are always suggested to keep them handy this practice is really useful when you are uh, doing your last minute revision before uh, just before exam the unit which carries more marks in the question paper should be given more time to practice. So, the unit jada marks ka hai, usme zada practice karna hai. Okay. First, you start from that uh, units only. After completing the entire syllabus from the NCRT textbook, then complete my minimum level uh, study material. I will provide the link in the description. And then go through any of the authors like R.D. Sharma, R.S. Agrawal, etc. It gives a broader view of the questions to be asked in the paper. Moreover, it provides more questions to the students to do practice. And in that particular book, you can uh, you have to concentrate more on previous year's board exam questions. After completing the revision work, now solve CBSE sample paper for both standard and um, basic uh, board exam, uh, which was published by officially published by CBSE. Right now. Uh, I will suggest uh, the answer uh, you start from section C that is 4 marks questions then section B 3 marks question and lastly section A 2 marks question. Agar bache is adat se practice nahi ki hai to they can uh, reverse the order also. Uh, I will give the suggested time management for section wise and uh, it may be vary for uh, student to student. Uh, this is only suggestive only. 2 marks question. 2 marks question, uh, total number of questions are 6. So we can give 3 to 4 minutes time and uh, maximum in total 25 minutes. Kuch question jaldi solve ho jate hai. Uh, kuch ko time lagta hai to uh, all over, uh, overall uh, jo time hai, jo total time 25 uh, minutes is zyada nahi hona chahiye. Now 3 marks question, section B, 4 uh, questions are there. So the time I suggest to 6 to 7 minutes. And the total time should not be more than uh, 40 minutes. Because in some questions, the children take more time. Lete hai, right? So, 40 minutes is a target. Leke chalo. Now, the last section is section C, which is uh, four questions, two case study questions. And in uh, I suggest the time is to 7 to 10 minutes. So, maximum 40 minutes. So, 40 plus 40 plus 25 it will be 105 minutes and plus 10 minutes revision time so we'll get uh, the paper will be should be completed in 115 minutes uh, you set the target because jitna revise karenge utna acha rahega agar koi mistake uh, mil jata hai to. right so i will suggest this time and your time total time is 120 minutes 2 hours right now attempt all my sample papers that is 11 sample papers along with answers as test using the, um, the suggested time management from my website blog www.kumasar34.wordpress.com by fixing time for each sample paper as 1 hour 45 minutes. Okay? So uh, during, uh, doing enough practice of sample papers will boost definitely the level of self-confidence of all the students. So uh, the link also I will uh, I will give to give in the description box. I will links my provide kar uh, Now the next is practicing the sample papers also teaches the concept of time management to, to the students. I am sure that this exercise will help you to complete your board exam in one and a half hours. Right now the tips during mathematics exam. Exam ke samay mein kya kya tips aapko uh, follow karna hai. First read the question paper with full concentration and use the first 15 minutes reading time carefully and effectively by going through the question paper at least two times 
and marking all the questions which seem difficult and leave them for last. First attempt those questions which you are sure about starting from C to A. Agar adat nahi hai to A to C. Understand the worth of each question. Never spend too much time that is 5 to 10 minutes on two mark questions. If you don't know the solution for a particular question, leave some space for that question and you can attempt later. Answer sheet should be neat and clean. Rough work should be done on the same page by drawing a margin. Uh, do not cut the rough work if you could not get the answer. Kabi kabi aisa hota hai ki hum rough work mein karke or fair mein nahi kar paate. So the partial marks may be given for uh, time work done. Avoid overwriting, right? And use pencil and scale to draw the figures. Never draw a figure with the use of a pen. And don't leave any questions unattempted. Write down anything you know about the question even if it is wrong. Because there is no negative marking. So attempting a question even if you don't know the answer completely will not uh, affect your uh, marks. Right? So uh, just surface areas and volume ka question hai. Or uh, question bilkul samaj mein nahi hai, But usme cylinder cone vagera diya hua hai. So you can write the formula of volume, formula of surface. Agar volume se related hai, you can write the volume, the formula for volume. You may get half marks for that also. Right? Now never lose your patience during the exam. If you do not know the answer to any question, do not lose your patience. After completing the familiar questions, take a long breath and think about the concepts involved in that particular question. This will definitely help you recall uh, some steps of that questions. You may get few marks also. Now, revise, revise, revise. It's great that you get done with the paper before time, but do not leave the exam hall just yet. Take a breather, relax and start going through your answers. Double checking your calculations. Because calculation is mistakes hone ke chances rehte hai. So making sure you have not committed any silly mistakes. Always remember that once you leave the exam hall, there is no way back. And don't leave the easy questions till the end. Kuch bachche, uh, jo difficult questions se start karte hai. So please don't leave, uh, don't do that. Over the years of teaching mathematics to school children, I have noticed that very uh, common tendency of students to attempt the harder questions right from the beginning. ये सोचते हैं कि पहले हम हार्ड क्वेश्चंस कर लेंगे तो इजी क्वेश्चंस जल्दी सॉल्व कर लेंगे तो उसके चक्कर में इजी क्वेश्चन छोड़ देते हैं सो स्टार्ट विद द इजी क्वेश्चन गेट वार्मड अप एंड यू विल फाइंड दैट यू कैन गो थ्रू द क्वेश्चन पेपर अ लॉट मोर स्मूथली देन बिफोर सो दिस विल हेल्प यू फिनिश द पेपर बिफोर टाइम एंड रिड्यूस द लाइकलीहुड ऑफ मेकिंग सिली मिस्टेक्स एंड नाउ ओवर प्रिपरेशन इज अ बिग प्रॉब्लम I have noticed many times that the students see similar questions and uh, they may have subconsciously committed to memory and solve them without going through the problem statement. Suppose a question is uh, quadratic equation ka. or very similar question is given and uh, uh, usko factorization method se agar ghar mein practice kiye hain to jald baji mein uh, wo bachche factorization method se solve kar sakte lekin question mein agar diya hua by using quadratic formula method. So, वहाँ पे वो marks lose करेंगे. तो इसलिए question paper को अच्छे से देखो, पढ़ो. There is no need to memorize math at all. It is one of the most logical subjects out there. Simply follow the steps, method, and you will always arrive at the right answer. Right? So, these are the uh, steps uh, for uh, the math exam. Final uh, tips, not steps. Final steps of the math maths exam. I wish you all the best for uh, your maths exam and your future. Thank you. Thank you very much.